It's not every day I come across an add-on and feel the need to cover it on my channel, but in this case, I just felt like I had to because it's such an awesome and powerful tool. Today, we're gonna to be looking at an add-on that's free. It's called M-Tree and it's for Blender. And essentially, it allows you to make trees with nodes and it's just a click of a button. Once you add the presets, you can just come in here and pretty much just generate a tree. So even if you know nothing about modeling and even nothing really about Blender, you could make a nice looking tree. So you can see here, this is the result. And even once, because it's node-based, even once you've you know changed to something you don't like, you can just come in here, change some of the presets, like the length, the diameter, the radius, the seed, and you could just update it. And it just does it all for you. So this is just incredibly, incredibly powerful and it's free which is amazing and it comes with its own materials as well all built in so you can see this render here for example all i did is i added in a hri i enabled cycles i added in a camera and a plane and i just rendered it and that was just out of the box and i didn't even mess around with the settings to make it look really nice so incredible just one thing that i have to mention i could only get this to work in blender 2.92 not the blender 2.93 and versions past that. So um, I don't know why that is, but that's what it is. So just go ahead, get Blender 2.92. I've got three different builds here on my computer. So I got 9.92, 2.93, and 3.0. So um, let's get started, and I hope you guys enjoy this tutorial. So hop on over into the description below where you'll find a link to this GitHub page. Um, you're simply just gonna go, once you've opened that up, go to the code button here, click on it, and then simply just download the zip folder here. I've already done that. So once I downloaded that zip folder on my computer or my D drive, I just have a folder, it can be any folder, where I just put, where I just put my add-ons. And in this case, with the modular trees add-on, I just drag the zip folder in here and there's no need to extract the zip folder. I'll just leave it as a zip folder. Once you've done that, um, open up Blender 2.92. So I've got a fresh in here in Blender 2.92. And as I've mentioned earlier, for whatever reason, I could only get this to work in Blender 2.92. I couldn't get it to open in 9.3 and 3.0. So um, once you've done that, you're gonna open a fresh scene and we're just gonna delete the um, default objects here. And actually we need to also enable the add-on. That'll be a good place to start. So just go to edit and whoop, edit preferences. And let's go over to our add-ons here, right? You're then gonna to go to the install tab here and remember we downloaded the zip. So in my case, I'm just gonna go, you know, to wherever I put that zip folder in my computer. So that's in my resources folder, add-ons. And then you can see here, there's the zip folder, modular trees, blender. So it recognizes that. So all I did is I clicked on that. I went install add-on, which I'm not gonna do right now. And then once I did that, in here on my add-ons list, it came with an add mesh M3 option, and I just clicked on the little box there to tick it. So when the tick is enabled, we now have M3 in Blender, and we can close this window here. So now it's super easy to use. It really is nothing to do with modeling. It is just simple button clicking. So we're just gonna open up, um, drag this tab up here, the bar, and then we'll just come here and change this edit type. Let's change that now to the M3. And up on top of your geometry nodes, you should see the M tree option here. So we're just gonna click on M trees. And at the moment, you're not gonna see anything because we need to create a tree. So we're gonna click on new. And if you want to get some node options here, we need to simply just come over to the M trees tab on the side here. If you don't have your properties panel open, hit the N key on your keyboard and it'll bring up your properties panel. And you can click here on M tree. And what you're gonna see here are some really awesome things. So the load preset is pretty much the only thing you have to worry about. Just come here to the preset um, default, you can leave it as default, but I like to go with um, one of these options here. So let's just go with the Scott Spine, yeah? And then all you do is simply click on load um, preset. And you're not gonna see anything except these nodes here. So let's just move these ones over to the side here. So I'm just gonna grab these nodes here, just move them over to the side. But the thing we're gonna be looking at is this little guy over to the side called the tree parameters. And when you wanna create a tree, all you do is click on create tree. And there you have it, that is your tree. It's really, really, really simple. And what you can do is you can come here to these um, branch nodes on the side. And say, for example, at the moment, this tree is 27 meters tall, which you can see over here in the trunk node. So we can see here, it's got a length of 27 meters. Maybe I want a 10 meters tall, so I just type in 10 meters. It's not gonna update, so what you do is you come over here and you just click on update tree under the tree parameters, and that's all done. And with any of these variables here, the length, the seed, the radius, um, you can change all of those and just come here at any time and update the tree. 
and it gives you the ability of just the click of a button in a few seconds to make very unique looking trees and you can make thousands of them. So now you're wondering, hey cool, we've got a tree, but what about the leaves? And this is where it gets so cool. So let's move the tree parameters over and let's just right click or Shift A. So hit Shift A and then go to your nodes. Not a lot of nodes, but they're super useful. So let's go over to the twig node. Place the twig node here and then we're gonna click on execute. And you should see here in the scene, it now adds in this leaf structure here for us. So all we have to do is we have to come over here to our tree parameters and enable create leaves. So click on create leaves. It gives you a little eyedropper option here. Just click on eyedropper and then click on that twig thing here with the leaves on it. And as always, if you wanna see this, we need to come to update tree. And once we clicked update tree, we now see our leaves. And if you think that is really cool, it gets even better than that because not only does it create this generated thing for us that we can edit at any time and update, we can now come and click on it and come over to our materials. So if we click on the leaves, for example, here the twigs, we can see it already has a material. So let's hit Z, let's go to material preview and have a look at that. So you can see here, it's already got nice textures on it that come with this, the add-on, and you don't have to do any sort of texturing work. How cool is that? And if you grab the trunk here, you can see it doesn't have a material. All you have to do is click on new, come to the material drop down. You can see here it's already got it for you. And just select the material and there you have it. That's it. There's no modeling involved. It's all node based. It's non-destructive. You can, <laughs> you can come here at any time you want, mess around with the nodes. Once you're happy, just you know save the tree and then just you know, import it into Blender 2.93 or Blender 3.0, whatever you're using. And for a free add-on, this is an incredible add-on. I really, really like this. I hope you guys are able to use it. And big thanks to the person who developed this add-on. Uh, must have been a lot of work. And the fact that they made it free to the community is quite impressive. So definitely um, go check that out and give it some love. I'll see you guys next time for another Blender tutorial.